Okay, so. All right, fellas. So it's December 5th. Curly Beard and I are out running the line. Um, we experienced torrential downpour on the way here, but uh, it's overcast, cloudy. It's not raining yet, though, which is very, very nice. Uh, the last time I checked this, I caught... What was it? Eight. <laughs> well, it was a chunk of meat. That, anyways. I'm going to come in and... Uh, Check our snareage. That beaver's totally gone. Okay, that was a bigger animal then. We've we've experienced very mild temps the last couple of days. Rain. We were in North Bay yesterday. I picked up uh, some fur and some gear, and oh wow, it's raining in here. Nice set. Your set is keep going straight. This is the one where I caught a mink that I had skinned. And the snare is closed, but nothing has come back. So I have some meat in the truck. We're going to rebait, and I might hang a few more snares along this edge here. All right, we'll see you on further on down the line. All right, fellas, we're at the second, third trap of the string, right? We have a lynx pen and a martin box. Uh-oh. Nothing but skin and bone in there. However, what do we have over here at Curly Bird Setup? Just slaying the weasel. The good old ermine. So I guess his last meal was a piece of lynx, and then he went for the box. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright fellers, I'm going to rebate this lynx pen. Brush it in a little better. And we'll see you further on down the line. All right, fellas, we're at the last trap of the string. We kind of blew by one, but I can see the springs on it. We'll check the uh, snare on the way by. I'm not sure if we're going to add anything in. I missed it. I wasn't fast enough with the camera, but there was a mink running up the road ahead of us. It was kind of cool to see. And it looks like Girdle Beard whacked another weasel. Uh, we've seen the mink and we got a weasel that's this is roughly the same size as the mink we've been catching. <laughs> nah, I can't say that. We've got some big mink this year too. Yeah, you had the one that hit the end of the board, eh? It's, uh, it's mild and melting and well, you can see the water right here is running. So it's nice and mild for running the trap line, but on the flip side of that, it's not all that great for seeing tracks and movement. And you still got meat in the box? Weird, we haven't caught a Martin up here. Oh, it's a nice forest. Yeah, one spot on my trap line where I actually have standing timber. Sounds like you're getting a squirrel net. <laughs> well, the last time I checked, this is where I did get the, the squirrel. All right, fellas, we'll see you further on down the line. Hey, fellas, we're over here at Bear Stand. We're in the heart of the trap line there now. <clears throat> I see the trap is off. Curly Beard added an otter set. Um, we've been just checking unsprung traps and empty tracks so, traps so far. 
pick them purely. I don't know if it's just the meat in the triggers or I haven't walked over to it yet. Oh, what do we have here? He's drowned like a rat, but it's a merton. Oh. Huh. This next shot. That is number eight of the season. I'm not going to lie, when I was here the last time I seen his tracks. Aye, aye. Yeah, okay. Aye. Seems awful small. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, that's a tiny one, eh? Awesome. Tiny female. Well... I'm thinking that just for this. This is the second female we've got in here. I think. In this cut. Well, here. We've caught two Martin here and a Fisher. I don't remember getting a Martin here. Yeah, because you were uh, Oh, yeah. That day wasn't fair. Well, that's a shame. I like this set. I do, too. I just don't like it. No, no, no. It's part of the deal. <coughs> well. Got to design a Fisher-only set. Yeah, maybe we'll do... Uh, we'll climb into that, too. It's a welcome sight, but an unwelcome sight at the same time. Yeah. Hopefully another one moves in. Yeah, I have a nesting box at the end of the cut here. Oh, oh, yep, it's still right. warm out today. <laughs> okay, go check some more sets. Yep. All right, fellas, we're up here at the Broken Bridge. There was no hits at the bait station or anything yet. The wolves were at the southeast side of the trap line, but they haven't they haven't come in, into the interior. Uh, looks like he pulled out the pulled out the meat and set the trap off. Now that video we were showing you is the, uh, the game camp set up right there. So, curly beard needs the trap setters and a piece of meat. And to check the game camp. And to check the game camp. Unfortunately, I forgot the SD card, so... <laughs> it's staying here. You guys are going to have to wait for some more of a jail. Alright chums, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, fellas, we're uh, next trap down from where the game camp is. Now, if we did a bit of cheating there, a lot of my trails are, uh, you gotta go in, turn around, come back out, so we, we knew we had to make care of it. Check it out. So, so far today, that's uh, two easels, a Martin, and a Mink. Not too tea bag, if you ask me. Yep, four sets left to go. Nice dark one. Wolves still haven't moved through up at this end, so. They haven't been hitting the bait station. Hey fellas, it's just a close out to the videos of uh, from today. Um, well, actually, we didn't do all that bad. Uh, we went to North Bay yesterday, and I'll show you the, uh, the fur. That is the fox. If you, I have some. Or the fox, I'm tired. It's the wolf that I got tanned for a chum of mine. I bought some fur hangers while I was down there, and. My wife's cross fox. What they don't tell you is they shrink in the wash. I picked up a dozen rat traps. I'm going to make some weasel boxes. I'm tired of checking empty Martin and Mink boxes. 
we got some uh, some good video on that uh, game cam that I have up at the broken bridge here with the main and the yada yada yada. But unfortunately, I forgot my SD card to switch it out. So Curly Beard's going to do a check on Thursday, and he'll pick that stuff up. I picked up some more boards, muskrat and uh, mink and Martin. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's just, just to close out to the video. I wanted to show you the tan fur we got back from, uh, from North Bay. Again, if you check out my uh, videos from last year, I think I did a, a walkthrough of what I had before I sent it down on the fur truck. So there's the uh, Mama's nice cross fox. You can really see the cross on the shoulders. Very, very nice. And again, the wolf. My chum should be happy with that there tomorrow. Alright fellas, until Thursday, stay frosty.